Boris, great to speak with you. And I do just want to start with this dramatic move we've seen that's been coming for, for a number of days and really weeks now uh, in the dollar. Have we seen the dollar, the strength in the dollar peak? And if so, is this what was driving it in the first place, uh, the fact that we did see the Fed on this aggressive tightening uh, cycle? Yeah, I think yesterday's CPI number was definitely a game changer. Um, as I wrote you know, last week, it's been evident that price pressures have been going down to everyone but the Fed for a little bit of, for a while yesterday. Uh, and yesterday's kind of really confirmed it as far as rates go. The drop in rates caused enormous amount of decline in the dollar. I think that was the, you know, the big driver. As a matter of fact, dollar yen was down 11 big figures since um, in less than two, uh, two weeks. That's a very, very big move. So I think at very minimum, we have paused. And I would be very, very surprised if we see any more 75 basis point hikes in this tightening cycle. I think we're done with 75 basis points. And I think the market sees that. That's the reason why the dollar rally is pausing. Yields are going down. And it's going to be positive for companies um, that are earning uh, their, their revenues in FX other, other than the dollar at this point. So, so then what are some of the names that you think could stand to benefit here? And I ask that as we're coming off the heft of earnings season where we did see so many multinational companies talk about yeah. uh, FX as a headwind. So one name is probably very controversial because it's just been beaten to a pulp, and that's Alibaba. Now, that stock has been destroyed on political rather than economic considerations. However, we're coming off after the CCP Congress, where Z has really consolidated his power. And there is a really reasonable chance here that there's going to be some thaw in Chinese regulatory, regulatory policy. Uh, in the meantime, you still have tremendous amount of demand on the digital economy in China. As a matter of fact, they just had their singles day. It's expected to do one trillion yuan as far as um, gross sales, which is um, tremendous. And I think at this point, Baba trading at 10 times earnings is going to get some tremendous benefit just from simply modest growth going forward and easing of Chinese regulatory uh, regulations. Um, all of that drives it um, as far as earnings go, because I think the yuan has really bottomed against the dollar for the near term. If I'm right about the fact the dollar has basically stabilized, it's probably going to decline against the yuan, you get this tailwind of yuan appreciation as well as possibly great growth out of BABA. So to me, that's an interesting sort of out-of-the-box pickup. Another story that's also a little bit Chinese related is actually Starbucks. Starbucks is making a massive bet on mainland China. As a matter of fact, they're going to put up one new Starbucks every 15 hours for the next five years in China. That is a huge, huge bet on the fact that their next marginal growth is going to come from the middle class of China. Uh, and if they're going to earn more and more of their revenue in the yuan, and if the yuan just basically stabilizes, but perhaps even strengthen against the dollar, that should be a providing a very positive tailwind for their earnings as they go forward. A we remind me, a weaker dollar would help Starbucks how? Because they, if they're earning more and more of their money in the yuan, and the yuan strengthens, and then when they repatriate, that's going to look much better on their— on They're their, going to get um, more dollars back when they pe yes, repatriate. They, that's the— correct. That's the, yes. the, the mechanism by which that happens, and it happens whether it's the euro or the yuan uh, or, or, or the pound. Or the dollar or the pound or the yen, correct. But they're really making a massive bet on mainland China, and if that bet pays off and if that, you know, um, uh, and their growth uh, continues and the currency does well, they should all do very well. I've been very bullish Starbucks, and it's really not disappointed. It's been done very well over the last couple of months. Yeah, that's a lot of caffeine in China. Thank yeah. you, Boris. We appreciate it. Boris Slotsberg.